Hi everybody, welcome back. Let's talk about something that's controversial topic. I don't know. I don't know what you want to call it. But I saw something that really upset me. It truly, truly upset me. In Columbus, Ohio. I live in Ohio. But I still saw this on my Facebook. When I opened it up, one of my friends had shared it. And I'm like, are you kidding me? What, what's wrong with people? What, what's wrong with people today? I, I was just appalled. I messaged him and I'm, I said, do you care if I make a video about this? Because I'm, I'm that upset. I'm that upset. In Columbus, in a neighborhood, there was a limo parked outside of a man's house that said, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. I don't get it. I don't get it. And not only was it written on the front of the limo, it was written in red, like blood, like running down letters. What, what's wrong with people? Why, why would you think that's okay to put that sign in your yard? If you don't agree with gay marriage, it's okay not to agree. It, it's okay not to agree. It's not okay to do this. It's not okay to do this at all. Let me tell you a story. Somebody very, very close to me told me they were gay. It was really important for them to tell me that they were gay and I had a choice right then and there how am I gonna react to this what am I gonna do well for all of you out there that don't agree with gay marriage let, let me give you a life lesson here's a life lesson for you at that split second my reaction had to be Christian like because I'm a Christian Christian like people don't go putting things like this on limos. They don't they don't act like this. They don't judge. That's not what Christians are supposed to do. So in that split second, I, I had a choice. So here's what I said. I don't agree with gay marriage, and you know that. But I love you. I love you. So I'm not going to judge you for your decisions if you don't judge me for any of mine. Because believe me, I've made some really, really way out there decisions in my life. It's your decision. It's your life. You live it. Let's still be friends. I still love you. Over the course of years, getting to know this person's partner, I developed another friend. And over the course of the years of knowing to these these people I was able to witness them to them not only from things I said which I never pushed religion don't think I did that when they asked questions I would answer but I lived the life of not judging you when I said I'm not gonna judge you I'm not gonna judge you I didn't I didn't so now I have two good friends two two they may choose to live their life differently than I choose to live mine. I may not agree with the way they live their life. You know what? They might not even agree with some of the things that I do. But we get along. We get along. And that's what God calls us to do. He says, love one another. That's it. Love one another. So, I'm going to love him just like I would want him to love me. As a friend. If I would have in that moment said, oh, you're gay. You know what? I don't want anything to do with you. I'm sorry. Go away. And then said rude remarks to him and a bunch of other stuff or wrote on a limousine. It's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. If I would have done that, I would have lost a really good friend and I wouldn't have gotten to know their partner. And their partner was one of, the, is, is one of the nicest people that I've ever met. If you run into the situation, somebody telling you they're gay, whether it be a family member, a friend, a child of yours, or a grandchild, love them. Love them. Tell them, I don't agree. I don't agree. Let them know. You, it, you're, you have a right to have an opinion. You don't have a right to judge them. So love them, love them because that love is going to over, 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 over abundance. I don't know what a word I'm looking for here, okay? 
But you're going to be thankful that you did that instead of saying, go away. Go away. I don't want anything to do with you. All right. Life lessons with Michelle. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to call this, but there you go. Love one another. Period. No ifs, ands, love one another, but love one another, you know, if. It doesn't say that. It says love one another. All right. I will see you in my next video. Bye.